I'll be in good shape. Alright, sir, Roger. How much are you going to be needing? Uh, this is too, too far. Uh, we'll take it uh, all night long if you can give it. Uh, how much can you give on? That's right, I'll pleasure. Here's Limo. What's up, everybody? Big Bay here, and this is Talk Talk Episode 5. All right, let's get down to the nitty gritty here. We've got a few things to talk about. I'll try to be fast. The first thing I want to talk about actually is the length of Talk Talk. I am trying to play with different formats, like either doing a full 20 minute, 30 minute episode. Uh, once a week or a bunch of smaller ones more more frequent um so i would leave a comment in you know in the, in the comment section and let us know what you think whether you like the longer ones or the shorter ones or we just do both when when i have like some of the the boys here we'll do a longer one when i'm by myself i don't want to sit here and talk for half an hour so i will say i'll do a quick one you know 10 minutes tops so that's that's the first item the length of talk talk um so yeah, let us know. Let us know what you think. Hopefully someone's watching and, and will let us know. All right. So here's rant time for me. Because uh, this one hurts a little bit. Sneak Peter got canceled. And I want to stress one of the main items we talked about in, in the last episode was signing up as soon as you know you were going. So numbers were low. We did have registrations. And I want to thank the guys who did do the right thing and register right away. Um, but I don't want to get into it because I don't want to shit talk because I'm not really shit talking the, the field or anything like that. But they had a, a threshold that they wanted. We had a threshold that we wanted to even run the event and it didn't happen. So we canceled the event. Um, that's really the truth of it. And when we canceled it, all of a sudden all these people came out of the woodwork like, oh, I was about to sign up this week. The event's a month out. Like register. Register now. If you knew, well, I'm saying register now, but register the minute you know you were going or you want to go if you're interested. I don't know what I have to do in the future. Like, do I start at a lower price and then build up so it's higher? I don't. I don't know. I don't know. And that's that's the thing. Like, I try to keep the events as low priced as possible for people to make it affordable. But I also think like I see other events out there doing the same thing we're doing or or in my opinion they're not as in-depth and, and there's not as much effort behind them and they're charging 150 dollars 200 200 dollars if we do that will people sign up I, I don't know i don't know what the the answer is but that we were really banking on snake beater to happen um and now that it's not like i i'm trying to like reassess what to do and uh, like I'll, I'll be honest we may not like i may i, I i'm at the point where i'm like do I waste my time? Do I try something else? Do I try a new new series or stick with Snake Beater? I really don't know yet. Um, I will probably make a decision before June what I'm doing, and that actually would lead that actually will lead me to my next topic that I'm going to talk to. So I guess quick rant over. Um, Register a fucking register when you fucking know you are going. That goes for every event. That goes for Junction City, goes for um, Steel Cogs, and maybe Snake Beater if we do it. Okay, so I was scouting a new field this weekend. Just uh, was it two days ago on Saturday? I went up to Mueller's. It's it's actually really close to Mike Mueller's house. Um, we scouted a new field that we're going to be using for Boo Dop. And I wanted to go to the field before I run an event, obviously, to get the lay of the land and, and, and think of some scenarios. Um, the field, actually, it it was advertised to me as a paintball field. So, like, you know, like, paintball fields usually have, like, you know, a, a tire fortress or whatever on it. But this field is actually really cool. A lot of woods. Um, it does have, a, like, a speedball area, but it's more of, like, a woods ball-ish paintball area. Um, the paint's not too bad on the field, so really cool. I'm really excited for it to, to be hosting, uh, Boo Dop, our Mike Force event. But the guy, the owner was really cool. Um, Bert, I want to say his name was, but yeah, it was, he was really cool. And he's open to us running other events there in the future. So maybe that'll be a home for Snake Beater. I don't know yet. Uh, we'll, 
we'll see how it goes with boot up and see what I what you know, want to come up with. But it's got a lot of potential. It's got uh, you know streams, varied elevation and terrain. It's got two ponds on it, swampy area, which you know, like all the Nam guys or anybody who knows my events, if there's some kind of water feature, either I'm in it or I'm making someone go in it. So um, yeah, with the with the uh, the ponds there, the two ponds there. Uh, I I know Darius has an actual um, 1968 dated boat blow up boat that we may be using. I gotta get a hold of him. So Darius, if you're watching. Give me a call back, motherfucker. Okay, I'm, I'm moving on quick here. Next topic is fit farm infantry training. So, um, that's happening this weekend. Put a lot of work into this year's between the trucks to have guys trained and qualified for driving the trucks to a new kitchen. Um, I came up with a whole lesson plan using a 1960s dated overhead projector. So we actually will have like a classroom and all these different things. Uh, a few guys are running classes too. We have an actual like combat veteran cadre who will be teaching everything they know in, you know, obviously in two, in a two to three day span. But um, every event, or every year that we do this event, it's great. It's, a, it's I, in my opinion, very worthwhile. I think the guys that go get something out of it. And it's usually the guys who come back every year to do it. And they get either a refresher or just pick something up more than what they did last year. So I, I'm really thankful that the new guys um, that that have signed up are going. But also like the, the guys returning. They, I love that they see value in it and then they come back. Um with that said, so in the planning group, I've posted several, you know, several documents like the timeline, packing list. This is all stuff that, that kind of gets echoed for the build up to Junction City. So like you're already kind of getting into that. Like, so you're already learning in a way like what to expect for the big event. So like start paying attention to that stuff. A lot of it doesn't change far from what you bring to fit to the big weekend, you know, week long Vietnam events. So, my best advice is come correct and do everything you're told, really, to, to help you know, prepare you for Junction City or any other big event that we are doing. Or any event, any, honestly, any NAM event, it, it helps you out for. Um, so. Yeah, that it's really it's really exciting. We we have full usage of the old Beth Page Village restoration, and I believe the Museum of American Armor may have fit some things out. I know last year they had the V one hundred out, they had the uh, M one one four out. Uh, so yeah, they may have stuff out there, f you know, to like add to our immersion. But we'll have tents up. We have access to this old church that we'll use as our. Um, classroom we'll have a movie in there on friday night guys will be there as early as like early afternoon to mid afternoon on friday so if you're planning to come on friday you can come anytime time really on friday um if you have not signed up yet you're too late the the cutoff is last week just to get make sure you can get your uh, sweatshirt in on time so there's always next year if people see value in it, maybe we'll do two a year, but I don't, I, I think one time and then we'll, I think what's going to happen is next year we'll be doing and we'll be adding another Vietnam event, probably like out of living out of your rucks kind of event for both sides. It won't be like no camps or anything like that. I'm jumping ahead here. That's a future thing, but yeah, that's it for me. That's hopefully under 10 minutes. I hope it's under five minutes. Let me know in the comments below and I will adjust accordingly. With that said, I am Big Bay, Liam Wachter, and this is Talk Talk. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Sorry, I'm getting a text. I can see it on my screen. What's up, everybody?
Oui. Oui. 